Hey, what's going on, G-Verse? Oh, that's a little close. It's like very, very, very close. All right. Okay. In my latest video, also, be sure to get my book, your free book, your free ebook, The Hustler's Mindset, Pimping Your Mind for Success. Be sure to get that first link below, and there's all types of other goodies down there. Now, to the meat of the video. It's kind of crazy where I'm at. If you're not paying attention, <laughs> bad things could happen. All right, I think we've made the, the most of it. In my latest video, I put out that I had saved $1.2 million by using YouTube. And I got an email. And someone was like, that figure is just grossly inflated. Excuse me. Just grossly. Just totally, totally inflated. It can't be real. It can't. And here's the math. There are 1,050 videos on this channel. Now, before that, there was there's 220 that are gone, that I made, that I deleted. So we're at 1,270 videos made. And let's talk about the complexion of the video. I make a ton of long ass videos. 30 minutes long, 20, you know, 15, 20, 30 minutes long. Those are considered long ass videos. And they make a lot of them. Those videos would be $1,500 to $2,000 when you factor in. If I had to hire someone to be the camera person, to edit, if I outsource that, and that's on the cheap. That's on the cheap. The cheap, 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 cheap. So, I, you know, when you do the math, that's the figure I came up with. $1.2 million because of the long form videos and the number of videos. There's so many of them and there'll be many more for those of you who love my videos. There will be more. It just blew my mind. And the reason I'm doing this video is many people are afraid to do something different, new, unique. I started on YouTube August 6, 2009. Didn't know what the hell I was doing. I just said, I'm going to jump into the water. And the water was murky. I didn't know what I was doing. Originally, a good 200 videos were made with a Sony CyberShot camera with SD standard definition video. And it worked. Some of those videos have 10, 20, 30,000 views. Just a quick tip. Audio is more important than video unless it's a silent film. Just letting you know. I learned that in a video course that I took. A friend of mine, Armani Channel, he and, he and some of his friends, they put it together. And I learned so much in a weekend. I learned a lot in the weekend. I just think it was 80 to 100 bucks. It was well, well worth the money. And that you can factor that into the uh, total of how much I have saved because... What this channel has earned me is the opportunity to be on a reality show. I did a pilot, it didn't work out, but the experience was awesome. Met some great people, made some great friends, made some great connections, which later resulted in a consulting opportunity. Books, speaking engagements, all types of things came from this channel, which saved me 1.2 million dollars now I'm keep hammering on that number for a reason and it's not what you think it's not what you think at all the reason I'm hammering on it is you can take advantage of even better opportunities today many people are waiting for that majestical 
mythical moment when everything aligns and the world is right and now's the time to go for it. My life didn't pan out that way. My life panned out to, man, you need to do some shit now. And it became a habit. Whenever I have a WAS, which is, you know, a wild ass scheme, a WAS, I'll just go ahead and implement, put it out there, and so many things fall flat. They do, they just fall flat, and people go, they, they laugh and they point, and I'm embarrassed, and my turn, face turns red. Then I move on. I have really, really learned that experimentation and exploration equals adaptation. You learn. Because I didn't like making videos in the beginning. I, I really, really didn't like it. I had to, you know, beat my chest, pull on my chest hairs, and amp myself up to get into the mood. And then something happened. I started to become good at it. I wouldn't say that I'm great at it. I think that still weighs off. But I am good at making videos. I'm very good at making videos. And that gives me a base to build from. Because I could teach someone else how to do this. People are driving, you know, stupid human tricks. People are driving kind of crazy. Just the benefit from doing this is awe inspiring. Because I've said a few things here and there about YouTube, but nothing really egregious. And the simple reason is that YouTube is fucking awesome. You can, with your camera phone, fancy camera, non-fancy camera, create a video that can be seen and absorbed and consumed around the world. For me, that creates childlike awe. I'm just like, damn. I have people in some of my groups from foreign countries, which I really, really appreciate. If that's one of you who are listening to this video, thanks. I appreciate it. I've got people all over the world watching these videos, who comment, who keep in contact with me, who share things with me, who leave me tips, who drop all types of knowledge. And it's a wonderful, wonderful world. And I'll just look at it because one day I sat down and I decided to write a book but more than deciding to write the book, I decided to finish it. What I really want to get across to you is don't start shit and don't finish it. Sure, things may be protracted. It may take you longer than expected. But don't start shit and don't finish it because what I've learned from these five years, it's going to be five years very, very soon of being on YouTube is mistakes don't kill you bad videos don't kill you crummy headlines don't kill you what kills you is stopping I am in the business consulting because I was strictly 100% storage auctions the first few months and then I went into crazy Craigslist stories and other things and well actually you know Craigslist how to sell on Craigslist videos now I'm in a different place. You know, what I do is teach people how to start businesses. Not just any kind of business, but any kind of business. No reset. I mean, you want to do resale, you want to do a cookie shop, you want to do a cake shop, you want to do a body tattoo shop, you want to do organic soap. I can hook you up because all businesses have common tenants. You just can't get around them. There's some that may be esoteric. There are some that may have a different groove to it, but you just can't get around these things. And I'm very, really happy to do what I'm doing because I was challenged in this email because it's like, you know, you do all this stuff and you were homeless and you lived in a boarding house and, you know, that's good for you. As this person completely marginalized the crummy thing that my life was, and you do all this stuff, how does that help me? And I'm going to tell you how it helps you. And I want you to listen up like you've never listened before. When you are ass out, and every one of us at some point is going to be ass out. It's going to happen. Your family's going to fuck you. Your wife's going to fuck you. Your husband's going to fuck you. Your kids are going to 
job's gonna, society's gonna fuck you, the big penis in the sky's gonna fuck you. Something's going to happen. It's not a question of if, it's a question of when. It's going to happen. And typically, when these things happen, people get knocked off kilter. They get knocked off their axes, they lose their mojo, they kind of have to sit back, reassess, which is a normal part of dealing with the personal trauma and drama. But some people never get back on that horse again, ever in life. Never make it on that horse again. Never get back on. My experience of being completely ass out, now I'll just share something about myself. I'm a very private person, and for some people, that's a problem. My uh, own mother didn't really know the extent of my downfall until you know, shortly before her death. I was just like, yeah, that was a period I was homeless. And she didn't know that. And I was like, well, you know, that conversation when I was just telling you things were bad, and you said I can come back home, and I said, no, I'm not coming back home. I'm going to figure this shit out. That was when. And, you know, she was a little silent on the phone for about, like, two minutes, but... What I'm telling you is, as long as it's not some terminal illness or someone chopped off your feet or chopped off your mind, you got a shot. You got a shot. And many people will not take that shot because they may miss. There are so many stories and things that are created because they may miss that they may not potentially do as well as they want so to not be embarrassed to not be hurt to not be have their poor little self esteem impugned to hurt my self esteem is hurt I'm just, my mommy told me I was a good person if I was a good person I would have made the shot but since I didn't make the shot therefore I'm not a good person so my mommy lied to me and my mommy wouldn't lie to me so I'm so confused that bullshit we have so many people living on faux self-esteem, fake-ass self-esteem, that's not built on any type of accomplishment. None. That's why it's so easy to hurt the feelings of some people. It really, really well. It's just too easy. But when you want to do something, when you really, really want to dedicate your time, effort, and energy into building something or being something or creating something or just doing something different you can be blown away about the results because I was talking to a good friend about the journey and about the things that were going on I am in the infancy of this conundrum media communication writing I'm in the infancy this thing is just getting started. Five years is nothing. What about 20 years? What about 30 years? Where will I be then? What will I be producing? Well, you know, that's the thing that I think about because it, 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 you can make it better. You can take it to a higher level. But you cannot get to a higher level unless you get started that's the deal you have to get started you have to take your chances you have to take your shots you have to go out there and say you know what life if it doesn't work out I'm coming back for your ass I used to have this little mental speech when uh, I would go approach women that I never met I would rather go down in flames than to go down like a little dog with my tail between my legs. Now, I'm going to tell you something. And, you know, there's some guys that know this and there's a lot of guys that don't. Go ahead and approach women, quote, unquote, out of your league routinely. Do it. You will be shocked at how many will say yes. Because women are people too. Just do it. Just walk up full measure of confidence put down whatever game you have and let it drop you keep doing this the results will fucking surprise you it will surprise you totally and that's not the only area in 
life that that applies. Just try. In this book that I'm doing, The 50 Laws of Hustling, there's one law. Do your own work. Yes, yeah, someone told you that that's not going to work. Okay, fine, fine, fine. Do your own due diligence. Don't listen to everybody on everything. There's some things you should listen to, like fire is hot. Listen, that works. It's a proven concept. But your business ideal may work. You don't have to start it on the grand scheme. You can start it real small and see what happens. Do your own work. Do what you need to do so that you can have that life that you want. Take chances. Take that shot. Take that shot. Because the first year that I was doing YouTube, I caught so much black about what it was doing, how it was doing it, didn't make sense. In the, you know, the beginning, I wasn't making like buku money, but I was making money. I was forging my way. Things were building. But I had something that many of you don't have. I had a business education. I knew that some businesses take two to five years to really kind of start rolling. It takes time. But you that clock doesn't get started <laughs> until you get started. Now, with the internet, it's very possible to go from nothing to something substantial within three to 18 months. You know, you can start three months later, you're doing something that's earned enough money to pay the bills due to the power of the internet. And the reason is... There are not that many of us doing internet businesses. I know you're like, whoa, 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 Glendon, Glendon, Glendon. Everyone is on the net. Everyone has a business. What the hell are you talking about, man? If you know the numbers, e-commerce makes up roughly 9 to 11% of all commerce, which means the other 89 to 90, 80, yeah, 89 to 91% is done offline. If you are a YouTuber that makes a lot of videos, you're in small company. If you're an eBay seller, an Amazon seller, anyone that's doing this internet business like I'm doing it, meaning that this is how I make all my money from the internet, it's a small number of people. And what does that mean? It's wide the fuck open. It is wide open. I am going to tell you, I am going to make money on technology that hasn't been invented today, tomorrow. That's how wide open it is. There will come, there will, something will come up and like, ooh, this is a shiny new object. And look, there's some cash hanging out of it. Scoop. It, it's, it's wide open. YouTube is still wide open. You cannot use the same format that people used back in the day. You have to use some a little different, some a little fresher. But the opportunity is there. Because when I sit back and look at all of the things that this channel, this effort has bought me, in the grand scheme of things, it's going to be worth way more than $1.2 million. At some point in the future, it's going to be worth way more than $1.2 million. And that is exciting. But this would have not happened if it wasn't for that first janky video. And it wasn't for that second janky video and that third janky video. My video story of YouTube isn't I made two or three videos and I like knew what I was doing. No, it took dozens of videos before I was like, okay, maybe if you take that harsh halogen light off of your face, you wouldn't have sweat dripping down your chin. Fluorescent lights are awesome and they're cool. Just a tip. But you got to take a shot. You, you, you've got to really, really think about it because there's all this new stuff out there that is available to you for little or nothing. I mean, little or nothing. It's out there for you. All you got to do is step up to the plate and swing. Will you strike out? Possibly. Will you hit a home run? Possibly. Will you get a base hit? Possibly. Just getting started and building on those little successes is what you're going to have to do. When I was really doing my storage auction webinars and things, I always said the game was about base hits. Everyone was looking for the holy grail. Oh, 
storage unit. You know, you spend a hundred bucks, you spend you know a thousand dollars, you make a million. <clears throat> you cannot base a business plan on random luck. You can't. You can't. But you can say that every twenty units I buy, if I pay a hundred bucks for a unit, I usually make three to four hundred dollars, or maybe five hundred, and every now and then a thousand. You start to develop a template for your business with those base hits you start to get metrics you start to get the ability to forecast because there was one month i said if we buy 25 units we're going to make between this and this and i was off by 180 dollars on you know just 180 dollars under and i was like oh god we can we can standardize this we can format this and it, then it was like okay do this buy this kind of unit this kind of unit usually yields this and it's, it the, the dots started going they start connected all day long, but you will not get to that point until you get started, until you buy some shit filled rat encrusted unit that, you know, it's 50 bucks and you're breathing rat fumes and then the rats are outside the unit laughing at you hysterically because they know there's even a bigger surprise in there. Their Uncle Papa. And you go through that and then you come out on the side and you're like, oh, that's how that works. Oh, when you see that, that's what's going to happen. You're going to get the experience from doing. Like in my course, 30 Days to 2500, it's an active course. It's action-oriented. It's about, hey, how can we get you moving? How can we get you to a point where you are making moves, where you are being active, where you're taking chances, where you're making taking risk? That's what success is about. That is the thing that will get you to the other side. But sitting at home, waiting until time is just right. Those uh, those moments where things are just going to be perfect is a waste of the minutes of your life. It really is. So it's just something for you to think about. Something for you to chew on. All right, this is Glendon, and I'll see you on the good side.